This has been the most asked question that I've gotten this year. What are the best Shopify apps to increase the sales on my store? Now I look at hundreds of apps every single year and I'm fortunate enough to look inside, you know, thousands of stores every single year and see what apps they're using. So I've got a pretty good understanding of what works and what doesn't work. So what I've done in this video is I'm gonna sum up my top five Shopify apps that increase sales so that you can install them in your store. And I'm gonna order these from my least favorite to some money-making apps that you have to install if you wanna increase your revenue. And to make it easier for you, I'm going to list them all down below so you can just click and install them as you need. The first app we're going to look at is called Judge Me and it's a product reviews app. Now you've probably seen this app around quite a lot and a lot of people recommending it. And there are so many product reviews apps out there that, you know, why do we choose Judge Me all the time? Well, it's absolutely the best bang for buck. It's only like $15 a month on the awesome plan and it gives you all the features of those more expensive review platforms. Now it is important to invest in a reviews platform because the more reviews you have on your store, the better your conversion rates are going to be. Now, the reason Judge Me is great is it has all the features you need. It has your typical product reviews. So we can see on this product here, you know, this product has got 53 reviews. And if we click that, it then takes it down here. The other thing it can do is it can do this customization to allow people to provide feedback based on the product on their store. It gives us verified buyers. It does everything that you need to do. And it's still only $15 a month where its competitors are like $100 a month, $200 a month. Uh, and this is a really good app. So it does that, but it also does some other things. It allows us to create uh, all review pages, which is amazing for SEO. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in SEO, I have created a video just here on how to do SEO for Shopify. So go check that out after you finish this video. There are a few product review apps and some themes have them built in. So why should you pay for one? Well, there are some additional features that are really important. And this is where uh, paying for an app makes a big difference. So Judge Me connects into Google Ads, which is a really powerful addition. So if I click over to my Google Ads and I search for one of the products that I have on my store, we can see here that out of all these ads here, mine is the only one that has stars on it. And that comes directly from Judge Me. And so if I'm looking at buying this, all of these products are the same price. Which one am I going to click? I'm going to click the one with the stars. And you can do that directly with Judge Me. So I highly recommend you give this one a try to install product reviews on your store. Now, app number two, I only stumbled across a few months ago and I absolutely love it. Now, if you think about Shopify, it is super easy and it's really easy to set up and install and customize themes and do all those sorts of things. But sometimes you look at your theme and there's just something you need to change on it and you need to hire a developer to come in and make those changes for you. This is where this next app absolutely puts developers may be out of business because it's called Sections Store. And what it is, it's a store for your theme sections. It's a really innovative idea. So I'll show you how it works. If we pop over to one of my stores here, this is the Sections Store app. And what it actually does is it has a whole collection of sections that are used on other stores, whether these be, you know, very branded, popular stores, or whether they're just great ideas for sections. So have you ever thought about wanting to do like a scrolling logo cloud? Let's have a look what that might uh, look like. Let's just say you want to put this on your store here, but it's not built into your theme. What you can actually do is you can actually go on and you can buy this section and have it installed into your theme. So you can purchase the section, it's only $9, and then you can use this within your theme. So let me do one that's free so I can sort of show you how it works. Let's just say I want to do, so let's just click the free one here. And let's just say I want to do this counter in here. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to click get free section. And it says the section has been added. Okay, it's now taken me into my theme editor and we can click add to theme and we'll add it into, uh, we'll add it into this development theme here. Let's add it in there. And then we can click customize in that development theme. And when you're in your theme, you just scroll down and you go in and click add section wherever you want the section. And if you type in the letters SS, uh, it's gonna bring in all the section store sections. So we click that in there and we can now see that this section is here and it's like that called counter. So we can click on the counter and we can edit it sort of as we need to in here. So we can change the font, we can do everything that we want with it. Change the settings, change the colors, sort of everything. So effectively what this does is this allows you to customize your theme with really powerful sections. So let's have a look at some of the other sections that it has there. So let's click on trending and see what's cool. Uh, this sort of testimonial ones is cool. What else have we got? 
It's a video slider. That's a really cool one. So we can slide through videos. You can see they're only like $9. Oh, these circle menus are really awesome too. So we can add this into our store. What else have we got? Uh, we got comparison charts. This is awesome. So everything that you want to do on your store, you just look through here and you can add them in as sections and it looks like all of them are pretty much $9. So we could add this feature one here. Now in theory, you could just use a free theme on Shopify and then just use sections to build it out. So it's a really awesome app. Now the next app I installed about six months ago and it has increased my average order value by 45%, okay? So it's a really super powerful app and it is an upsell app, but it's a little bit different. It's a post-purchase upsell. So if you don't know what a post-purchase upsell is, it is when we sell something to someone after they've made a purchase from us. So let's just say you go through the checkout and you buy a bottle of coffee, by the way, I sell coffee. If you, you go through it and you buy a bottle of coffee, uh, you've paid, you put your credit card in and you get a thank you page. What a post-purchase upsell does is on that thank you page, they say, hey, by the way, Brendan, did you wanna add something else to your cart right now? And if you add it in the next sort of five minutes, we'll give you a discount on it. All you need to do is say yes, and we'll add it to your cart and we'll just charge your card. You don't need to do anything else. And that is a really killer way to get upsells because what tends to happen is when someone has made a purchase, they're in a positive state of mind, they're really happy and they are confident in their decision. So if we offer them something else, they've already spent money with you. All they need is to click yes and they add it in the cart. It's a really super simple way. I'll show you how it's working. Now the app that we use is called Aftersell. It's a really awesome app. And as you can see, it's got 958 uh, ratings at 4.8, so it's a really well-rated app and it has some really awesome features. So I'll show you how we're using it on our coffee business. The way it works is it uses these funnels and they're called post-purchase funnels. Now this is the one that we've been testing recently and it is called a Jigger Upsell. So a Jigger is this little tool that we sell to everyone that has a bottle of coffee and it helps you measure out your coffee. And so the way it works is at the end of a sale, we basically offer two options here, version A and version B, and we're continually split testing these versions. And I'll sort of show you how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and edit the offer. And if we go in here, this is the page that we're gonna see. So they get their success of their order, saying, yes, we've received your order, congratulations. But then we say, hey, Jane, you've unlocked an offer by buying with us. Your order is confirmed, but you can still add the following to your cart in the next 10 minutes. And this is called the dosing jigger. And you can see we've applied a discount to this. This is a greater discount than what we had previously. Uh, we talk about why this product is great. We tell them it's free shipping and all they need to do is click pay now. And this works really, really well. And what we can do is we can go through and edit all these discounts. We can do all the different bits and pieces. We can add, change the shipping. We can do lots of things here. So that's how we add an upsell to the end of the order. So the other things that we can do is we can split test this here. So uh, I'll go in and edit this one again for you. And we can see there's a split test. So this one, we've only had 14 impressions. This one's had 11. This one here is getting a much better conversion rate than this one here. So let's see the difference between these two. Um, so I've written in this one, we recommend you get this. The discount is exactly the same. Everything else is exactly the same. I think the only difference here is this wording. Let me go back and see what the other one says. Uh, yep, so Jane, you've unlocked an offer. How interesting. All we've done is change the wording. Discount is still the same. Everything else is exactly the same. We've just changed it from a recommendation to being unlocked. So uh, we've recommended the product to them rather than unlocking the product to them. So that's why we do split testing because sometimes small words like that can have, an, look at this, a 10% difference. That is quite wild and it's all the exact same thing, okay? So the second part about this is if they say, no, I don't want that upsell, we then can go through and add in additional upsells. And I think we actually did that on this other test that I was doing here. And I was just playing around with this one here. So this one is where we offer the same product again, but at a discount. Uh, looks like this one hasn't been running for very long. It's only had one eyeball on it. Uh, but we have here that if the upsell is accepted, uh, then we offer them another one at the same price. Like, hey, do you want another one? Um, if it's declined, we then offer them another one. So it really depends on how it is, but you could effectively run this funnel over time. So maybe you could have one that says, hey, we're gonna offer you 20% off if you buy now, and they say no. Oh, actually, do you want 25% off if they say no? Oh, by the way, you can get 30% off. You could do something like that to really try and win them through that sort of funnel piece. But these post-purchase upsells are absolute game changers, and if you're not doing it, you are leaving money on the table. All right, so let's get 
get into the next app. Now, the next app that I recommend is called Tolstoy. Now, Tolstoy is a shoppable video and UGC app. It is really awesome. Basically, the way it works is it uses UGC and places it on your product page and allows people to shop directly with the UGC. Now, if you don't know what UGC is, it is user-generated content and it is videos that you typically see in social media, you know, like TikTok and Instagram Reels and Facebook and places like that. But what we do is we can pick that up and put it on our site. People can click it, open it and buy directly from it. And I'll show you how we're using it on my store. On our product page here, you're gonna see these little dose drinker videos. These are these little circus. Now this is the Tolstoy app in action. So if we click this and you can see, it just brings up all these videos that we've created in social media. And the other cool thing is that they can just click here and they can shop the product directly and they go straight to checkout and they can go through and buy the product. So it means they can actually look at videos, feel like they're in social media. It works really well on mobile apps. And then the other thing that we do is we can actually include them on our product pages here. So I'll just close that down and I'll close this one down and we can actually include them on our product pages here. So this is also the Tolstoy app. We can see all those uh, social media videos are feeding in directly from Instagram or TikTok or wherever we have them. So if you're a content first business and you've got lots of UGC, Tolstoy is a killer app and it helps increase the sales on your store. All right, now this final app is one of my favorites. It's the one that has generated the most amount of revenue for us across all the stores that we run and all the members of the e-commerce academy we run. We tell them to install this app. It's a super simple app, but it just works really, really well. And it is called Upcart. Now Upcart is actually uh, the same company that makes Aftersell, which is the other one. So they work really nicely together. But Upcart is awesome because it does upsells and cross sells before someone makes a purchase. And the way it does that is by using something called a slide out cart. And it's one of those carts that slides out to the side, keeps people on the product page, and it tries to upsell them in the side while they're still browsing. And it works really, really well. I'll show you how we're doing it on our store. So if we pop back to our coffee store here, and we click add to cart, what we can see is this slide out cart has happened. So I've already got some items in here. So I'm just gonna close them off for a little bit and we can see my cart's empty. Let me do it again and click add to cart. And we can see it's popped this one in here, but it's also added this in here, which is get the perfect dose, the dosing jigger, and then I can just add this to the order. Now, this is a one product store, well, a two product store, but this is a one product store with some small add-ons, so we don't have much options here. But one of the killer things here that works all the time is offering this shipping protection. So I would say three out of five people pay for shipping protection on our store so that we can make sure that their shipment gets to them as safely and as quickly as possible. Now, this is an on or off button. We set it on by default, and most customers leave it on. And so when they click add to cart, not only are they spending $29.95, they might add to order, and then they click checkout. So we've gone from $29.95 up to $4.70, up $47.40, and if we click checkout, it takes them directly to that. But let me show you how it works on one of my other stores. Now, if we go back to my boxing store here and I click add to cart, what we can see, it's now added these boxing wraps, but it's also done this motivator here. Now, this store here has a free shipping threshold, so this actually incentivizes them to spend more money with us. But not only that, it has this item here, which is an upsell item. Now, I didn't tell it to recommend this item. It uses AI to determine the best product for what I have in my cart. So it says I have boxing hand wraps and I'm probably gonna also need a pair of these. So as I go through and add different things to my store, this AI is gonna change based on the things that I've put into my cart. And you can also see I've got shipping protection here. This time I've got a little bit higher because the average order value on this store is a lot higher. But we can see here that it's highly incentivized to get people to buy. So I'm gonna click add in here. We'll see what happens when that happens, okay? it has changed now to these shorts. So what it does, it looks at all the data in the back of the store and it says, okay, most people that buy these two items probably also buy a pair of these shorts. So let me add those in there and see what else it recommends to me. Okay, it's now changed to a different pair of shorts because a lot of people that buy one pair of shorts in our store also buy an alternative pair of shorts as well. So they're my top five apps that you need to use. We're gonna use Judge Me, we're gonna use Sections Store, we're gonna use After Sell, we're gonna use Tolstoy and we're gonna use up cart. So if you want to increase the sales in your Shopify store, I highly recommend you have a play with those apps. Now, you'll notice that none of them are free. And you know, if you want to invest in growing your business, you're going to invest in apps. And we recommend paying for apps where you can, because if you pay for apps, you're going to get the support of the developer. It's going to continue to get updated. And tell you what, spending $20 or $30 on an app every month is a heck of a lot cheaper than getting a developer to code it in for you. And it is going to make you money. Now, if you did enjoy some of this, or you've got other apps you think I've missed out on, comment down below on the types of apps that 
that you think we should be recommending or maybe one that I need to look at. Otherwise, there's a couple of videos here that YouTube thinks is gonna be absolutely perfect for you uh, when it comes to growing your e-commerce business.